of Lanka IOC. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in case you didn't know, Lanka IOC has a very distinguished and a very uh, good record that I think we need to briefly touch on uh, this evening before we really get on with this uh, event. And uh, just to let you know that uh, before, just a very brief snapshot. The facilities include an oil terminal in Trincomalee, Sri Lanka's largest petroleum storage facility, and 18,000 tons per annum capacity lubricant blending plant and state-of-the-art fuels and lubricants testing laboratory at Trincomalee. With a powerful compilation of energy brands in addition to the servo brand of lubricants including extra premium, Euro 3 petrol, extra mile diesel, strengthening its portfolio, IOC India has also paved the way for Lanka IOC to achieve a turnover of rupees 75.1 billion in 2013-14. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I welcome all of you for a, a brief press conference where we are, you know, tying up with the uh, Sri Lankan cricket. And uh, as you have heard about that, uh, this Lanka Indian Oil is here for last 14 years, and uh, this is for the first time we are collaborating with the Sri Lankan cricket at this stage. So. Our Honorable Telanga Sumati Pala, President SLC and Deputy Speaker of Parliament of Sri Lanka, Mr. Shami Silva, Treasurer of Sri Lanka Cricket, uh, Mr. Angelo Matthews, Captain of Sri Lankan Cricket Team, Mr. Dinesh Chandima, he is also uh, Vice Captain and uh, uh, Sri Lankan uh, Cricket Team, uh, my colleagues from Indian Oil, and most important, the press members from the entire media houses actually. Uh, as you know, the cricket team is going to go to uh, England for a long tour and uh, it was good on behalf of uh, President uh, Sri Lankan Cricket that we, are, we have gathered here for the small press conference here. As first of all, let me thank him because in spite of the busy schedule, he could manage it and he has joined us here to let us know the future of the Sri Lankan cricket, where it is going to take in time to come. As uh, it is already briefed uh, that Lanka Indian Oil is, you know, one of the uh, uh, best traded company in this uh, country and uh, in the last, apart from what it is uh, spoken about the uh, LIOC, it has also received uh, the number of uh, prizes and uh, distinguished, uh, 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 you know, nominations from different uh, magazines. It was number one energy company, which was uh, most uh, uh, rated as a most valuable brand in the energy sector by the recent uh, LMD brand finance. Then it was also top 25 ranking uh, company in the business today. It was top energy company again and the fourth largest listed company in the Sri Lanka, which was rated by the LMD magazine again. And our Trincomalee Blue plant was uh, the first plant where the, our laboratory has accredited with the ISO 9001-2015 certification, which also we have received no other laboratory in this country is having that. Apart from that, we are having 200 uh, petrol shed across the uh, island and uh, we are having so many, a uh, lot of servo shops, lube distributors, uh, bitumen uh, channel partners. So, IOC for last 13, 14 years is uh, supporting the Lankan government for the energy security without any hindrance actually. As you have seen that last uh, 14 years after the <coughs> uh, this company has come here, there is an improvement at the petrol sheds actually. The important thing is the customer who is coming at the petrol shed, he has st started realizing that there is a change at the petrol shed. All of us go to the petrol shed to get the fuel, but there, the, what it was there at that time and what it is there at this moment, there is a difference which you can observe. And based on, because of this competition, our uh, major player, CPC also has started upgrading the petrol sheds and finally it is in the beneficial of the each and every individual of this country whoever is going for the fueling he is getting the better services and the better response from the people who are working there. As uh, is already told that in the apart from uh, doing this uh, 
petroleum uh, marketing and uh, services we are also into csr last week only we have donated one ambulance which was third from our side uh, through uh, hands of the his excellency president uh, uh, of sri lanka to uh, polanarawa village and which was uh, appreciated at all the level actually and we are here this is for the first time as i told you that we are associating ourselves with the sri lankan cricket and are confident that this sponsorship is going to uh, uh, further you know strengthen in time to come and we are proud to be official partner of sri lankan cricket and sponsors for the national cricket cricket a team actually i once again thank uh, honorable tilanga sumati pala president slc and deputy speaker of parliament and entire his team angelo matthews and chandimal uh, uh, for uh, giving us an opportunity who came here in spite of the busy schedule and wish you the best of the tournament uh, in england and hope that with this partnership sri lankan cricket again uh, rises to the level of the world champion and uh, attain the greater height and the cricket is benefited in totality thank you very much now i would say how happy we are to see the ioc sponsoring our a team uh, sri lanka is not uh, looking at developing the cricket just because we have a good national team we cannot get there unless we have a support team when ioc bought it to come and uh, associate with sri lanka cricket then it was of course uh, they said you know we want to be part and parcel of the development of the game we are a company which we develop we support we energize so you want to give the energy by this initiative so thank you very much for your a team sponsorship which is very important sir we need to look at uh, when we are developing the game it's not easy to uh, find a national team squad of players unless they have the age of 15 17 19 and so forth we love to emerge in team and to an a team just before playing for the country we have a very good tour of england with the national team as well as the a team uh angelo and chandima they have a very tight schedule they are with very uh important training programs and uh, putting them be with a very hard uh, uh schedules but still even though they are playing for the country from the national team just to show our solidarity so how how happy sri lanka cricket as a whole to, with respect the national team captain and the vice captain want to be part and parcel of ioc lanka uh, sponsorship uh, lanka ioc uh, sponsorship for the a team because you know uh, it's every uh, rupee count every dollar count Uh, it's not an easy thing to find sponsors uh, and hold on to it. You are with us. You're going to be with us till 2018, which is good. Uh, we believe that uh, Lanka IOC will uh, be with us for longer because uh, it, it means uh, you know they are committed to support development, developing uh, squads of Sri Lanka cricket. Well, uh, from Sri Lanka cricket point of view, we are. quite confident uh, with our duo which is the captain and vice captain we are uh, going to re engineer restructure and rejuvenate uh, the national team we are very important uh, towards ahead of us we are starting from england uh, which is taking off the after tomorrow afternoon tomorrow is the last day in colombo for the national team from there they are all uh, going to play australia in sri lanka as well as uh, towards the end of the year in south africa so the uh, most uh, strong uh, uh, otherwise uh, very uh, solid uh, international teams are playing which is nine test matches for next six to seven months is a huge uh, responsibility for angelo and uh, chandima well uh, we are confident we are transforming the game uh, or rather the board and its uh, support team uh, into a professional outfit we are confident we can uh, bring our game back to where it belongs to so uh, this kind of sponsors holding on to us 
uh, makes uh, that much of a confidence uh, for the board. Uh, from our uh, aging point of view, uh, it's a very, very important uh, segment because uh, that's our uh, the next uh, generation and next uh, feeder for the, the world team, a world class team or the national team. So uh, most of the players who are associating with the uh, Lanka IOC uh, other players will be playing for the country. So it is a genuine uh, investment, genuine support, genuine association with uh, Sri Lanka cricket, which we really appreciate, Mr. Bora. Thank you for your uh, support. Well, uh, going back to uh, the game again, uh, we need to uh, sort of uh, uh, say that, you know, uh, from the uh, cricket board point of view, cricket team point of view, and national players point of view, uh, this uh, winter, just recovering from England, uh, I was there about two days ago. It's about average 10 degrees at the moment. Uh, most of the parts still in snow. And that's the kind of a treatment we get uh, from uh, uh, yeah, when you travel to the uh, early part of uh, summer or late, late uh, autumn or early stage of, uh, late stage of winter. And uh, this, is, this is the challenge for the team. Similarly, when they come over here, it's 38 degrees sometimes, 36 degrees. So it's not easy for uh, people who are experiencing winter to acclimatize in Sri Lanka. So that's why the game is so popular. You have to be professionals, you have to adapt, acclimatize, and to adjust yourself every moment of your life. So that's, that's our capacity, that's our capability, I'm sure. The players are now uh, on a track where they are professionally approaching towards a very confident set of players. So uh, uh, we have uh, further to this, we have uh, South Africa A team touring Sri Lanka, as well as uh, we are uh, having a team going to Zimbabwe, and uh, so forth. We have a, a very strong A team tours uh, over next year. Three years we have nine tours for eight teams over next until 2018, which is a huge commitment and a huge responsibility. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to take any further time. Thank you so much uh, for coming in for Lanka IOC sponsor uh, of A Team of Sri Lanka, which means investment for future. Thank you. As long as you maintain that strict guideline that I mentioned. I think we do have a mic, or two mics, so if you need a mic, just put your hand up. We'll have a mic sent across to you. Anyone needing a mic? We've got two standing on either side. With your permission, Mr. President, can we move on?